June 21st, 2024, I'm looking for the best baseball pitchers in the year 1981. I found three guys. Tom Seaver, Fernando Valenzuela, and Dennis Le Leonard. All three of these guys won two pitching categories, 1981. Tom Seaver, most wins, 14. You say it's a low number. The reason is, 1981 baseball season, there was a strike from June 12th to about August something. So they canceled about 50 to 60 games. I believe some teams played about 103 games. Others played about 104, 105, right in that range. So it was a shortened season. Tom Seaver along with Jack Morris, Dennis Martinez, Steve McCaddy, and Pete Vucevic, all won 14 games. So Tom Seaver, one category, 14 wins. And his second category was winning percentage, 875. Fernando Valenzuela, he led the league in strikeouts, 180, and shutouts, 8. Dennis Le Leonard, He had 201 innings. He had the most innings. And he had the most game starts, 26. So 1981 baseball season, a dumb strike canceled 50 to 60 games. Let's look at these guys. Look at their careers. Start with Dennis Leonard. Not in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Why? Only 144 victories. Pitched for 12 years. But 1981, his record was 13 and 11, but he had the most games started, 26, and he won 13 of them, and had 201 innings. That's Dennis Leonard. The next guy, Fernando Valenzuela, Dodgers. Uh, Nando Mania, they called it. Fernando Mania. Why? He burst onto the scene, 19 years old, 1980. 1981, he wins 13 games. 25 starts, 8 shutouts, 192 innings, and 180 strikeouts. Hey, interesting career, 17 years. Started in 1980. You know, in 1992... He didn't play, so he missed the season. Uh, had some good years. Had a 19-win season. Had a 21-win season. Didn't make the Baseball Hall of Fame. Only 173 victories and 153 losses. Almost 2,900 innings, 2,000 strikeouts. Pretty good. Not in the Baseball Hall of Fame. And the last guy is in the Baseball Hall of Fame, Tom Seaver. 20 years in the league. Mets, Reds, White Sox, even played for the Boston Red Sox. 20-year career, he goes 311 wins, 205 losses. Good, good percentage, 60%. 603 winning percentage career. Just 200 losses. See, uh, some of the other guys I'm covering, 250, 260, 270 losses, 290 losses. He's a member of the 300 win club, and you know how many strikeouts he had? 3,640. Whoa, he was a strikeout pitcher. Struck out 19 guys in one, one game once. 10 in a row, I believe, in that game. Struck out 10 Padres in a row. 4,783 innings. 1981, he wins four, He goes 14 and 2. Too bad he, they missed 50 or 60 games of the season. He probably could have had 10 to 15 more, maybe 12 more starts. He could have been a 20 win winner that year. 14 and 2. He had some good years. He had a 25 wins in 1969. He had 22 wins in 1975. 
1971 and 72, he had 20 wins and 21 wins. So he has one, two, three, four, five, five 20 win seasons. Tom Seaver, deserving of the Hall of Fame? Yes. 311 wins and 3,640 strikeouts. Never had 300 strikeouts in a season, but he had a lot of 200s. He had 205, 208, 283, 289, 249, 251, 201, 243, 235, 226. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 seasons, 200 or more strikeouts. Tom Seaver, Hall of Fame. All right, 1981, finish with that. 1982 is next. Talk to you later. Out.